Hi, welcome to clickmyproject.com. We are going to see the process of the cloud computing in which we are going to see an enabling public auditability and a data dynamics for cloud storage security. Actually in this process, in, the, in the today's cloud computing, data security and data integrity plays a major role in a secure outsourcing of data. But in this process, we are going to concentrate solely on data integrity rather than data security the existing or uh, other existing process solely constraints on only the data security but you know in this process we more focused on the data integrity rather than data security although we uh, uh, bring the uh, um, data security vulnerabilities in this process we introduce the third party auditor to audit the data with the secure outsourcing of the cloud data content here we support the batch auditing process in which a multiple auditing task has to be performed by means of TPA and also beside the TPA achieving data time is also important process here we not only maintain the data security and also we introduce the data integrity by means of having the message authentication code process therefore we ensure the correct outsourcing of data by means of third party auditor for that we have used the Fielman and the uh, blowfish algorithm for data security next we are going to see the flow of the process in that we describe the process by model by model there are five pro different process or models in this whole process first the pro uh, process is the key generation in this we used the blowfish and a cryptography algorithm to generate the key for each and every tokens we have generated then we used the symmetric keys for the encryption of the respective tokens then after that key generation we used that key uh, for the data encryption then we send the encrypted contents to the secured encrypted contents to the cloud server and both the TPA also the data then the send that data is also in the form of the Merkle hash tree then after the sending of data we have to perform the integrity verification by means of TPE. Here the TPE will verify the data uh, received from the, the data owner and the CSP. So the, the integrity checking is done by means of applying message authentication code. Uh, uh, after the message integrity verification the data will be dynamically updated by the user at any time in the cloud storage. And at last the batch editing will be done in which the users can be requested any number of users can be requested and they uh, their respective auditing will be done next we are going to see the execution process of the that project first and the um, the client process that is here in the package enabling underscore original just run the home.java in this process uh, first uh, this is considered as in client side here we are taking the data and uh, send encrypted in the f and make the data as an encrypted one first the file access kind it uh, represents that uh, the the data we are going to pick for example just browse any text file here Example any text file uh, just browse it and take any text file here and after the picking the text file we are going to take split first we display the contents and we make it into any number of splits that is this is here we are making into number of tokens just uh, making some tokens and after that the key generation will be done for each and every tokens and after that we maintain the file security for that we apply the encryption process here by using the respective blowfish cryptographic algorithm encryption process completed that uh, files will be viewed that encryption will be viewed here then we store it in a respective drive and after that the original file will be here the zoned as an token 1, token 2 and token 3 
and uh, the encrypted file will be shown here the token uh, and after that the keys will be respective keys will be shown shown here and after uh, uh, the data has been securely saved we are going to send this data to the cloud server and the TP that is our next process for that I am uh, expanding the storage package just run the send files to cloud Java first I am going to send the files to the cloud for that I am selecting another package the cloud server dot Java here so here uh, exactly why I'm, what I am going to do is this I am sending the data to the cloud from the user side for that I am entering the cloud IP here here I am considering the single system so I just entering the local host IP so uh, after entering the IP just click the uh, get original here here the send original the files will be sent the get encrypted and also here uh, get encrypted and also the send encrypted file this encrypted files are also sent and it will be successfully stored in the C drive after sending the data to the cloud this I am showing the data as an original data and after that is an encrypted data the successfully now we successfully store the data into the cloud after successfully storing the data into the cloud we are just uh, picking the data and uh, we are going to store the data uh, we are going to send that uh, client data to the TPE that is uh, called the third party auditor for that I am just running that send files to TPE so and also I am invoking another package this, that is called TPE in this TPE I am just expanding the TPE storage TPE in that I am running the TPE storage file in the TPS storage file so uh, now what I am go uh, exactly going to do means I am just sending the client files to the TPA for that I am just clicking this button and after the enter the uh, here I am entering the TPA uh, that is the address of this TPA this I am here I am considering the local host so I am just entering the local host IP just get encrypted and show data the just I, I got the encrypted content from the client set and uh, show uh, and click the view data here the file will be stored in the name of the this client IP address in TPS site in TPS site okay then after successfully storing the data up till now we have successfully stored the data both in the cloud and the TP after that we are going to perform the auditing operations between the clouds cloud server and also the the TP so for that I am expand uh, in this uh, cloud server package there is a TPA package that expand it and run the cloud server TPA form and also in down here in the TPA package uh, expand the package and run the TPA auditing package after expanding the package I am just going to check the uh, go do the auditing process so that I am entering the cloud IP address that is a local here I'm just uh, give the uh, file or token which I'm uh, going to perform the auditing process and the, here the IP address the user IP address uh, just here uh, click the get request here the send request the request will be sent to the cloud server and also here uh, give the send response here the get response the requested file is available okay then after perform I am going to perform the validation part just entering the IP address here here I am determining the TPA content for that I am generating the MAC code here I am determining the cloud content for returning the MAC code so I am just going to verify whether it is uh, received data from the clo uh, cloud server and the received data from the TP is valid or not is the received data is valid then so validation so the contents are same so therefore I am checking that uh, content for received from that um, server is valid now that is performed by that third party auditor so uh, now the content is successfully verified and after that I am going to perform the data dynamics for that I am um, uh, choosing here I am choosing here that uh, uh, dynamic here updating file so I am going to do some modifications here for example I am uh, I am just extracting the by updating in the client side and uh, run the user modification.java 
here I am entering any file block here this uh, file 2 means I am entering the file 2 and select I am going to just update the uh, any file just in I am doing performing the I am going to perform the insert operation so open that file file is ready and uh, ready to modify so the file is open here now so I am just uh, here I am just adding any content here then I am saving it here saving it just close it and after that encryption is performed here encryption cont content change and is saved and after that I am going to send this modified that is data dynam dynamics files to the both the TPA uh, this ent enter the modified block and validation yes file exists then I am going uh, just click send modified file to cloud server in the cloud server you just click the dynamic and get modified content get modified content here uh, here just enter the IP address of the user just get it and save here the content is changed in modified content is changed in cloud server and also at last I am just uh, send I am just sending the modified content to TPA just click it and here enter the IP address just in the TPA package and just uh, get the content and save it here your file is uh, at last the modified content is changing also in TPA so all through the process we have achieved the fair data integrity and uh, uh, they are performing the TPA integrity verification and also performing the data dynamics operation in order to ensure the correct storage of data and also the TPA verification of the data being stored in the cloud and also we perform the uh, successful auditing operations being performed on the clouds therefore the public auditing operations is performed successfully on the cloud thank you for watching